Hello! Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a bird feeder where you can either put water or seeds. So what you're going to need for this craft is a box. If you're going to be putting water, you need a plastic box. A hole puncher, some string. I'm using some from a bag. A cutter, marker, a ruler, tape, and the seeds or water that you're going to put inside. So you're going to start off by measuring uh, the box, I'm using about four centimeters deep, I want it, for the seeds, uh, which is around half of the box. I'm going to draw a straight line across, and using my cutter, I'm going to cut along that line that I just drew. After that, I'm going to flip the box so that the opening is up, and cut straight along the edges so that it meets the line that I just cut. That way you'll have a small rectangular piece out. You're just going to do this to one side of the box. Grab some tape and tape up every edge that you just cut. This is to make sure that there are no sharp edges that might harm the birds. Now grab over that leftover rectangle that you have and check if it fits inside the box. I found that it was a bit too wide, which is probably what everyone's going to find. And you just cut off a bit of the edge from it to make sure that it can fit inside the box. Now that you are sure that it fits, grab that piece and make a scored line on long of it. So what you want to do is that you want to keep a bit of space that you're able to like balance it on it when you're taping it. What you what I mean by scoring it means that you just like make a line with an exacto knife without actually cutting it. And with the help of the ruler, you can just fold it in place so that you have that edge. And then what you're gonna do is that you're gonna put it in the box with that edge and you're gonna tape it in place. Add as much tape as you can to make sure that it's sturdy and it won't move from its place. If it's sturdy, I just placed my exacto knife on it and made sure that it doesn't move, which it didn't. Then, what you're going to do is that you're going to grab yourself some string and a hole puncher. First of all, start off by measuring where you can make two holes where, where they're equal distance from each other. So I just took that they're two centimeters apart from the box and two centimeters apart from each other, which was the perfect distance. And using my hole puncher, I just punched the two holes as deep as it goes. That way they're on the same level and they're sturdy enough inside. You do this on the two edges that are not cut. So like on the edges of the place where it's cut. After that, you're just gonna place your string inside. Mine already had like a plastic ending to it because it's from a bag, but I also prefer to tie a knot. So um, what you can do, even if there's no plastic ending because it's not from a bag, just tie a sturdy knot from both sides. When you're done from the first side, repeat the same thing to the other side. Now that you finished both sides, what I wanted to do is to make it more sturdy. I grabbed some tape and taped up these edges. That way, it's not going to be have any edges that might hurt the bird, and it's even sturdier than it was before. So you just do the same thing for both sides. And if there's any edges that you feel like might be sharp, also tape those up so that the bird can't hurt themselves when they're trying to eat. So then you can attach it on the rod, like slip it through. Or if that's too hard, you can just put it using clips on the closing hanger, making sure that it's sturdy. Or cut the string and tie sturdy knots. After that, you can use some more string and just tie knots right under the rod. As you can see, what I did on the right side, um, instead of keeping it how it is on the left, to make it even sturdier. You can fill it up with seeds. I just took this picture before I attach it with seeds inside so that you can see how it looks like. But it's preferable to put the seeds after you attach it so that they don't fall when you're trying to attach it. So it should look something like this. You can even decorate it, but make sure if you're putting any type of paint inside that it's not toxic. I even did a container for water, which I placed on the ledge and mounted it to the wall using a screwdriver so that it's more sturdy. 
So this is the finished product and as you can see there's many ways that you can attach the bird feeder um, depending on what you have at home and where you can put it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this week's craft. Stay tuned for next week for the next craft.